Well, you know, I think what we see really going on here is this is part of a, of a long-term trend of regime change activities by the United States and the West towards Iran. I mean, of course, we know in the 1950s when they overthrew uh, the, the regime of uh, uh, President Mossack Day, but even now we've seen, to a high degree, when the Green Movement, for example, happened uh, just a few years ago, you know, the State Department hailed the Green Movement as this great democratic movement that they hoped would overthrow the regime of Iran and try to do everything possible to forward the Green Movement. But when, uh, you know, for a variety of reasons that did not succeed, we see the drumbeat of war, the drumbeat of sanctions and assassinations continue. I think when we see sanctions, the policy of sanctions and how they've been used historically by the United States, the whole point is to uh, cause privations among the people, to try to weaken the resolve of the people by making the material situation significantly worse. Uh, and I think they're hoping that movements like, I mean, you know, like the Green Movement, although it doesn't have to be the Green Movement, it could be a new movement, that because people are feeling uh, so beat down by the sanctions that perhaps they will then rally to any movement that says, well, we're going to overthrow the Islamic Republic. The use of sanctions quite clearly is to try to soften people up for regime change and try to make them rise up against their government whether they want to or not because they feel that this is the only way to get any sort of change. We've seen it not just in Iran and in El Salvador, uh, excuse me, in Nicaragua, for example, uh, with the elections there, with the Sandinistas in the, the, in the 1990, the, you know, they say, well, we'll continue to support these Contra forces, these arena forces who are out here committing genocide unless you vote for them in the election and remove the Sandinistas. And so we see this here in Iran. They want to try to create a fait accompli for the people of Iran. Either they maintain support for the Islamic Republic and have to face sanctions and war, or they rise up and, try and, and overthrow the Islamic Republic uh, and then they can have friendship with the United States as long as they continue, a new government would be uh, an ally of the United States. So clearly it's a blackmail type policy is what these sanctions are all about.